like a, a grandma's nightdress. What the heck? Hey guys, it's your girl Tina here. Welcome back to a new episode of Tina Tries It. In today's episode, I've got a Korean fashion try on haul for you guys. Now, I don't remember when the last time I filmed like a try on haul. It would have been when I was buying stuff for my wedding and doing a lot of those wedding dress try ons. Ah, but then COVID came along and put everything on pause. I know a lot of you guys enjoy those type of videos, so I thought I would do a more casual version with more casual outfits that you guys can actually wear. So, during my time at home, I did a little bit or a lot of online shopping and I got a bunch of different outfits from Korean fashion brands. I feel like I have maybe, I wanna say like 15 to 20 items in here. So I'm gonna open it up, show you guys what I got, talk about the prices and kind of like why I was drawn to it and why I added it to my cart. Alrighty, so the first item I got was this white cardigan. It has like little frilly bits at the end and on the sleeves, which I think were quite cute. This costs $23.90, so pretty affordable I'd say. Next up, I bought two of the same top because, I don't know, I guess I really liked the style. It's like a cropped camisole with a bit of like rouging here. I had to get two because it was only $10.78, so super affordable. And now with this green top, I thought it would go nice with this skirt that I got from another brand. Or, did it, was, or was it from the same brand? I don't know. Yes, I was correct. It was from the same brand. This skirt was $25.90. It is lined, so that's good. It's kind of giving me like clueless vibes, if you know what I mean. So I feel like that makes a really cute outfit. Okay, so this is what the white frilly cardigan looks like. It feels pretty good. Um, the only thing is when I button it up, I don't know if you can kind of tell, but it feels like it's gonna pop open. I am a little bit bustier than the model. So um, when she wears it, she has nothing underneath and she kind of leaves these bottom ones unbuttoned. I don't think I can pull that off. No, it just doesn't look right. I think I either have to wear it open or buttoned up all the way. This top I actually really like. I got it in two colors, right? And this is what the green looks like. I think it's quite flattering. It definitely accentuates the upper parts. The only thing is like, I need to wear a different bra with this because the straps are, are thinner than my bra strap, so it does show. It is quite a stretchy material as well. And this, I got a medium and it fits perfectly. This is what the black looks like. I actually really like this. It makes me look a lot sort of like slimmer. It kind of brings my waist in, but then kind of accentuates the girls a little bit more. This skirt is actually a skort. I only realized when I put it on, but yeah, I love it. I, it's really cute on. I feel like it does match the green, very clueless vibes. Only thing is it's kind of, the quality is kind of crap because it came ripped. I was like, oh, is that a pocket? No, it's just poorly made. It's like they totally like forgot to stitch this section. It's fixable though. Other than that, the fit is really nice. I got a medium and it kind of, it's like a high waisted skirt. So it's perfect if you're gonna wear like a crop um, on top. Just to let you guys know, I'm usually like uh, an Australian eight or a US four. I think that's, that's the right conversion. Next we have this green dress. It's from a brand called BB Chic. It's, I'd say it's a mini dress. Yeah, it looks pretty short and it has like, this side where you can kind of rouge up and make, make it a little bit shorter. So I feel like it's very fitted. It's probably more bodycon. Oh, I'm not a fan of this one, guys. I don't know. I just feel like a, I feel like I'm a sausage roll or something, you know? I just feel like, oh, body looks like that's what it looks like, you know what I mean? And it's quite short already, right? And it has this part where you're meant to like rouge up. And I'm kind of like scared to do that because I feel like, you'll be able to see everything. You know, if I just kind of like, it's like a top. I just turned it into like a long top. This is not a dress. And I'm like, I need to emphasize, I am a short girl, okay? So if you're gonna buy Korean fashion, you need to know that maybe some of the mini stuff will end up looking like a top on you if you're a tall girl or just like normal size. If you're taller than me, this, I don't want to stand up straight. You know what I mean? Like, it's just all this, you know? All up in there, 
Sorry, no, don't like it, hate it, won't wear it again. I like the color though, I like the color. I like green, but I just don't like this cut and I don't like the material. I just don't like anything else about this dress. What did I get? Are these pants? Oh, <laughs> so this one is from a brand called BB Chic and it's a cropped sweater. So this is the neck part and then these are the arm parts. I don't know if I can pull it off, but I'm pretty sure I got this one because it was kind of like unique, you know, it, it looked pretty cool on the model. Honestly, most of these, I just bought it because the model looked really hot in them. Oh, I'm gonna try not to get my makeup on it. <gasps> I made it. Hmm, I have mixed feelings about this. This is the first time I've worn something like this. Is it lopsided? Is the cut kind of weird or did I wear it weird? I think that's supposed to like kind of come down a little bit. So it's like a nice curve. Then if I let go, it's just... What is that? Why? Why? Now I've worn it with this dress that I don't like because it's similar to like what the model is wearing. She's got like a little dress on underneath and she pops this on over top and she rocks it. But then when I wear it, I just look confused like I don't know what's the weather outside is it like hot or is it like is it really cold is it winter that I need like a, a knitted top but then what's with this cutout was it was it 80% off because it's only 20% fabric here I don't know guys help me out here should I keep this like how 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 would you style it how would you make this work I think I'm just gonna like wear it as a scarf guys I feel like that's probably the more traditional way so this is a set from a brand called Daba Girl or Daba, Daba Girl or Daba I don't know if I'm pronouncing it wrong, guys. So this comes with a belt. Actually, I don't know why I thought it was a play suit, but I guess like, you know, once you put it all together, it could look like a play suit. Just looking at it now, it looks quite loose fitting. So I'm interested to see if, if this will look good on me or not. Hopefully it does. I like the color. What's with this outfit? I, I look like I work at the zoo. <laughs> I need to check your admission ticket, please. Yes, that's adult and children. Yep, okay, yep, come through, come through. Look, I think, I think maybe it looks better with like this. I don't know, the model, she wore it so well, but I think maybe she, she tucked it in or something. I look like I'm a freaking safari ranger. I can't really, it's too short to be tucked in. This is like the longest belt ever. Why is the belt so long? What is with this belt? It <laughs> no, that's not how it is. No, this is not it, okay. I've never had a belt like go all, all the way around like this and I just hang out on the other side. Gosh, it's a difficult one, isn't it? It looks better tucked in. <laughs> Albert's saying no, it's not. I'm just trying to like make make myself feel better. I look like Steve Irwin. That's what Alfred said. I'm Tina Irwin right here. I don't know what to say about this. It's it's not it's not great. I think maybe it just needs to be a little bit more fitted. Or you know what? You know what? You know what? I got it. I can wear it separately. Maybe not the top. The top is what's giving me that safari, that like zookeeper vibe. So I think like the shorts with with the long, long ass belt, I could probably just kind of wear it with like a, a white top or something and make it work. See, it looks so much better. You know, tell her. <laughs> I look like Lara Croft. I mean, that's a compliment. A, A, didn't go to waste. I just don't know why this belt is so long. Oh yes, we have a pair of jeans. So this pair of um, light blue jeans are from a popular brand called Chu. Um, I remember seeing them in Korea everywhere and they've got this like massive tag at the back and it says minus five kilo jeans. And I think, don't quote me on this, I, I think their whole marketing is like, when you wear these, you look five kilos lighter or something like that. They're pretty good quality. Do they stretch? Actually, no, no stretch really. Next, I have this um, black sort of cropped top. It's supposed to sort of like lace up in the center. That's why there's like this part hanging. I think it's okay. We'll have to see what it looks like on, but 
I think the little corset feature makes it look a little bit sexy, but it's kind of like really casual and you're not really showing anything. So that's why I got this one. These are the, these are the minus five kilos. I think it meant like I need to lose five kilos to wear it. What size did I get? I oh know I ripped it off now. I can't return it. Oh my God. I just got to get my thighs in here. Gosh. I got them on, but I cannot move. I cannot bend. This is like the tightest pair of jeans I've ever tried. I don't even know why I forced myself to like put it on. There's just no stretch. You know what I mean? Like there's zero, zero room to move in this. This is the max that I can go down. I think I might rip it. If anything, I cannot bend down to pick something up further than this. I reckon I can stretch these. Do you guys have any hacks on stretching jeans that don't stretch? <laughs> I feel like because everything's just, it makes me look thinner. You know what I mean? But you can clearly tell that this is the wrong size. Can you see how straight my zip is? I am one button away from popping this thing. Even though these jeans are super tight, I do like the length of them. I like, I like how it looks. I just don't like how it feels. Is that, is that when you know like, you're a fashionista. You just buy things for how it looks and just forget about how it feels. I think with the sizing, I just got like my normal sizing. You can see that it, it like fits around my waist fine. Getting this on though, it is a mother. Like my thunder thighs barely made it and I don't know how this is going to come off. On a side note, do you guys like my corset t-shirt top? The top to me, I mean, it feels like a comfortable t-shirt, but probably not really my style. I thought it'd be like kind of cool and edgy. It, you know, it's, it's okay. Don't hate it, don't love it. It's not my style. Then why did I buy it? Was I possessed? It's so tight. Is there a way to suck in my ass cheeks? Help me get it off. You need to, you need to pull it from the bottom. Slowly just peel, peel one side down and then, and then I'll like yank my meat up. <laughs> Next up I got this, a long sleeve um, knitted top. It's kind of ribbed and this, I don't know, I just wanted like a basic long sleeve top and I kind of like the collar to this. I have a white version of the black when you like something, buy it twice, right? Hopefully I'll like it. This next piece is from Colada and it's a denim skirt. So it looks like a skirt, but it's actually a pair of shorts. This was $27.90. So again, pretty affordable, I feel. And I got this in a medium. Since we're on denim, here's another denim piece. It's a cropped denim jacket from the brand Livy. And it was $61.90. It's also a bit of like a looser, wider fit, something a little bit more baggy. So I feel like it'd look nice when you're wearing maybe like a fitted top or something underneath. The nod of approval, guys. This is the top that I bought two of. I bought a white version and I made the right decision with this one. I really like it. It feels comfortable. It looks good. It's black, so it's slimming. It, I also like the V-nut, v, -nut, v -nut. The V-neck. What is the V-neck? I also like the V-neck because it's not too deep. It's not like a double V-neck. It's just like the right sort of V. Yep. Pretty happy with my purchase. These were quite affordable as well. And I'm so glad I got two. This is the denim skirt. It actually fits pretty well. It's a little bit loose, but I kind of like that, you know, it feels really comfortable. It's not like too tight. If anything, it gives me room to eat. So I really appreciate that. From the back, it looks like shorts. From the front, it just looks like a nice mini skirt, but you're not really flashing anyone. I definitely like it better with like a t-shirt. So it's more casual. Um, the only thing is these pockets, I'm not a huge fan of them. They're fake, but there are pockets at the back. I'm a pocket girl, you see. I mean, like, who isn't? You just, you just need room for stuff, you know? Storage on the go. Now, this denim jacket. Hmm, I quite like it. I'm very, I feel like um, I feel very stylish. It just makes you feel cool. You know, when you put on a denim jacket, you just feel cool. 
like this, it kind of feels a little bit boxy, but I think if I just kind of turn out the edges a little bit, it looks a little bit more fitted for me. I like it. I think this was a good find. This is like a fitted set. This is the skirt, I think. Is this a skirt? Yeah, this is a skirt. Oh my God, it looks so small, but it is quite stretchy. And it comes with like a matching top. So it's like a little polo set. I look like I am going to play tennis. Though I cannot play tennis in this because if I were to lift my arms, you can see my bra. This is so short. I wish it was like a little bit longer. I think if you have like a smaller bust, then it wouldn't retract as much. But you know what? I'm like really small. I'm short. I'm like 5'2". So if you're a tall girl, this would be like mid boob for you. So I feel like this top is really, really, really cropped, like really short. I do like the color though, and it is really cute. I would just feel really conscious wearing this out because it really like hugs and you can see every like lump and bump. So you need to wear like the right underwear as well. Also, just to let you guys know, I haven't eaten today just yet. So if I did eat, I'd have this like pregnant belly and this would show it's not very forgiving. But I do feel like my butt kind of looks good in this, right? My thoughts on this, it's super cute, but mm, would I wear it again? I could wear it again, but I think the whole day I'd just be worried about like making sure this is like down and making sure that's like right. So it's not like the most comfortable outfit, even though it looks like I'm going to go play tennis. I think I was just in a very ribbed mood because all these tops and stuff I'm buying have this ribbed pattern on it. This is actually a dress, as you guys can kind of see. It's a long sleeve dress. It is from Livy and it was $42.90. I got this in white. I'd say this is like another sort of like tennis-ish outfit, maybe even golf. Um, it's obviously less fitted than the blue two-piece much more comfortable because the length it's longer it's covering more nothing's kind of like pulling up or anything but i just don't think it's like the most flattering thing on me maybe it needs like a little waist belt or maybe like let me try something maybe if i just like unbutton yeah yeah that looks better it kind of gives me a neckline now it doesn't make it look like i'm so top heavy look i think it's like a good basic to have and then you kind of got to layer and build on top of it i wouldn't really wear it out just like this maybe it's just a bit too plain for me all righty <laughs> it almost makes me feel like i'm shopping for wedding dresses again with this top i don't know what made me want to buy this actually maybe i was feeling a little bit girly and airy fairy at that time this is just like a long sleeve mesh top it's kind of like off the shoulder it has a rating of 4.3 stars out of 5. So it seems like a pretty good buy. Lots of people were happy with this. So I was like, you know what? I guess I'll try it. I know a lot of people thought I was pregnant. And I feel like this could kind of confirm it, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not. I'm not pregnant. It could be a food baby or a frill baby. It's a frill baby. The girl looked so cute in it. You know what? Like she was taking selfies and looking all cute. Why do I look so like, look like a fat bird? I actually don't know which one's worse. Safari Tina or Bird Tina? This one is a little bit uh, questionable, but it costs $24.90. It's from the Windflower brand, I believe. Yes, Windflower. I guess I got it again because it looks good on the model. Like she's wearing it with boots and she makes it look kind of like really cute. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Why does it look like a nightdress? Like a, a grandma's nightdress. What the heck? It looked really cute on the model. She was wearing boots. I don't have those boots. Maybe I'm meant to button it up. So it looks like a nice sophisticated neck, you know, not, not like I'm about to go to bed. I need this little string. I just transformed this dress, but still I don't really like it. You know what it reminds me of? It's that movie, Mrs. Doubtfire. She's got like the very full fullness here. And she wears like the long sleeve to cover up like the hairy arms. Maybe when I do get pregnant, this would be a good dress though. Who wore it better? The model wore it better. 
way better. Oh my gosh, was I in a blue mood? This is a play suit from a brand called Mela, Melacock. I hope I'm saying that right. But um, this one's also really affordable, $31.90. It actually feels pretty good. It doesn't feel that cheap. I think this will be perfect for like Singapore weather. And it's kind of like um, pleated, so it does look a little bit more interesting. It's much better than the other blue one. Though something feels a bit off about it. I don't know. These points, I, I don't know. It feels like it's just pulling at the wrong area. And when I pull it up, like I'm giving myself a wedgie. I think what it is, it's the shoulders. It's just not flattering. It kind of makes me look really like bulbous. Like gives me like this big low shoulder vibes. But I think if they had sewn it like this, so the sleeve sits up a little bit higher, it's more flattering. This is an off the shoulder top from Windflower. This one feels pretty cheap. I don't know if you can see it. It's like all this like loose threads everywhere. It doesn't look that great on the model. I guess maybe I just like that it looked more raw, kind of boho. But uh, this cost $24.90. Mm, I don't know, it looks a little bit different because in the photo, the model, her sleeves are the same color as the actual top. I don't know why these are white. It's so tight. <laughs> Did you zip it halfway? It just got really tight. Like, just halfway. It's halfway. Yes, yeah, so something is off about the cut of this. It feels like a little bit warped. Like, I don't. What? what is that? Is there something here? What is that? What is that? Is that a stain? Is my boob leaking? What is this? Oh no, it is a rip boob. It's just ripping as. Oh, I can hear it. The seams are popping. It's freaking pop rocks. You can kind of see I've got a, a like double lumps happening. What the heck? I look like I'm really staunch. Like I'm ready to like <laughs> rips. <laughs> I'm really hot. It's like something stabbing me. I think it's a zipper. Oh, this looks kind of cute. I like the print on this dress. It's an A-line dress from Windflower. Quality-wise, um, feels a little bit thin. Um, but this one costs $24.90, so pretty affordable. It's not as bad as the blue ones. I do like the cut of it. I think it's just like what's happening up in here. For once, I think I want my neckline to be a little bit lower. So it's like not, it doesn't cut me off like there. And you know what? I think it could be the pattern too. Like with these like florally dresses, it's all about the pattern and you know, it looked good until I wore it on. I just look like some sad curtains. I probably could make it work with a waist belt, like a, a thicker one. So it kind of cinches it in. I really would like this as a skirt though because it's lined up until here and then this is sheer. So I kind of like that effect. It's probably like a 5 out of 10 dress. It's just right in the middle. It's not great, but it's not the worst thing ever. Well guys, that's all my outfits I have for you guys today. I thought I'd put the funniest one on. This one was the one that just made me laugh so hard. But it also reminds me of Australia. It reminds me of home. The Outback. So in saying that, I would love for you guys to rate my outfits. Maybe just tell me which outfit do you think was the best and which one was the worst. Overall, I feel like Korean fashion, obviously with online shopping, it's always a hit and a miss. So this goes for Korean fashion as well. You do need to go a size up. Just know that the models will always look better than you. Okay, so don't take it to heart. Minus five kilo jeans means that you need to lose five kilos to fit in the size in their range. So keep that in mind. That's my tips I have for you for Korean fashion. I had lots of fun filming this. Alfred and I, we burst out laughing so many times. So let me know if you enjoy these type of hauls. If you do and you want to see more, suggest what kind of fashion or brands you want to see next. And if you're new here, don't forget to click subscribe. For some reason I want to say crikey with that. Click it, crikey. That is it from me, guys. I shall speak to you guys next time. Bye. I'm the FedEx guy. Hi, is there an Alfred Tran here? I've got a delivery for Alfred Tran. If you can just sign here, sir.
Bum, 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 bum,